What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Eric, and we have some news again from the Scream franchise. Before I could even finish my Scream reviews, I need to do a ranking. I need to do all of that, but I've been out for quite a while with the bug, with the COVID bug. It jacked me up pretty good, but I'm almost back to 100% now, and we'll be putting out regular content once again, and there will be a lot of Scream content because I still got to review Scream 2, Scream 3, Scream 4, and the ranking, and now it looks like Scream 6 is going to be coming out. It has officially been announced thanks to the success of Scream 5, which was just called Called Scream and I enjoyed it. I did my review on that. I did a non-spoiler. I do plan to do a spoiler review also. All that got sidelined when I got sick. But Scream 6 has been officially announced by Paramount and Spyglass with the team behind Scream returning after an incredible, successful, uh, incredibly successful release. Production is expected to begin this summer. Uh, James Vanderbilt, Guy Busick writing the script. Uh, a lot of the uh, filmmakers will be back and I assume most of the cast. We'll see if they just bring back the newcomers or if Nev Campbell and uh, you know some of the old Old school actors return you know Courtney Cox etc if they return or not obviously not everyone survived um, these you know previous entries so there's not a whole lot of <laughs> a whole lot of OG characters to come back because most of them are dead but we'll see. Maybe they can pull something out. Maybe they do something special uh, for this sixth one because I don't know what else they're going to do. And I don't know if it's, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm excited about it. But then again, I'm a little worried about it because I thought Scream 5 was surprisingly good, solid, fit within the universe. It was funny. It, it did pretty much everything you want in a Scream movie. Sometimes a little bit too much over the top with the, you know, self-awareness. But overall, I really enjoyed it. And I think this is a, a, one of the best uh, at least most consistent horror franchises out there. You know, not my personal favorite. Yeah, I'm a bigger Chucky fan, but Chucky has some crap movies. I'm a bigger Nightmare on Elm Street fan. There's some crap movies. Jason, Friday the 13th, obviously some horrible movies in there. Um, whereas Scream has been very, very solid uh, all the way through every film. Very watchable. Executive producing will be uh, Kevin Williamson and Gary Barber. So uh, a lot of the uh, familiar filmmakers will be back, and I assume most of the cast will be back. No clue what this is going to be about, but it, it's going into production very quickly. Expected to begin this summer. So really interesting. Scream 6. And yeah, I don't know. This one, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very worried about. Scream 5, I was mildly worried about. This one, I'm very worried about. Even though we just got a good film, and I should, you know, trust the filmmakers and everyone who's involved in these Scream movies because they've been so good. At the same time, I'm sorry, but you know, just you know, coming, coming back to back, it's tough to make a good movie these days. And and coming back to back with it with a a an idea that's been, you know, run to the ground here through these first five movies over and over and over. But, you know, when you leave 10 years between, sometimes you've, you've, you've caught your breath enough, you're ready for more Scream, and you come back, and okay, it makes more sense. But you're running out of plausibility to keep on coming back. A killer keeps on repeating the same thing, and it's just... I don't know. I, th I think I would prefer them to go ahead and, and finish out at, at Scream 5 and say that's a wrap. But then again, they do have a, a new cast of young characters who you know could be reprising their role. And maybe there's something interesting with Scream 6. I'll certainly be there with bells on. We'll see if those bells are still on when the movie's over, though. But I am looking forward to it. And I have a lot of Scream content coming soon in the next couple weeks. Like I said, I'll be reviewing Scream 2, Scream 3, Scream 4, Scream 5. Spoiler, I did the non-spoiler as well as a ranking of the entire franchise. Looking forward to that. Let me know what you guys think of Scream 6. Are you going to be there to check this one out? Or uh, do you think that this franchise has a run its course? Let me know in the comments section. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. We're going to talk to you all next time.